Sorry, how are you doing? Yeah, well, okay. Okay, now it's over. It feels like about 10 o'clock at night. I'm ready to get to bed. I didn't do anything. Pretty exerted some energy in the box, I reckon, mate. Yeah. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Craig, you come up against a pretty committed team today? Yeah, they were really committed, and basically, we, we really expected that. Um, for whatever reason, it doesn't matter where we are on the table, they're on the table. They always seem to give us a hard time here and down in Melbourne, so uh, we didn't expect anything different today. And, um, you know, the, probably, and not taking anything away from Newcastle at all, but I think we're a little bit rusty. You know, we give our players a week off, um, a full week, which that's the most we've ever given. So, again, hopefully, we thought that probably wasn't great for this game. You know, it might be the next game as well, but we thought that it might be a bit of an advantage for us at the end of the season. So hopefully that's the case. But I yeah, couldn't take nothing away from Newcastle. You know, they're really unlucky today that they didn't uh, get the um, get the points. You know, they they had a lot of footy. Um, having said that, our defence held us in the game again. You know, we, there's a few things defensively we didn't do so well that what we've been doing uh, lately. But you know, I thought we were, we were good enough defensively. You know, and, and that's probably what got us our win. So um, hopefully that's a bit of a blowout for us today and a uh, little reminder that you, know, you need to prepare well and make sure you know you take that preparation into a game. What is it about Newcastle Craig? Is it any of you put a finger on anything or is it just a yeah. thing? No, no, I didn't take, well, for whatever reason, I, you know, um, they, they, they play well against us, you know. Um, I know that, that you know, they've been a little bit inconsistent this year. They, you know, they they play a really good game against us down in Melbourne there early in the season. They probably were a little bit unlucky to lose that game as well. So, having said that, you know their, their form of late has been pretty good. You know, they obviously their first half, especially against Canberra, was um, was pretty good. And you know, the way Brown is picking his team, and um, you know they've had a little bit more game time together now, and so they're uh, you know, they're starting to put, put a few things together. So. Uh, um, yeah, I'm sure they'll uh, they'll get the scout before the, the end of the season. Is that why you didn't give Cameron and Cooper a rest today? That was part of it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I didn't really want to send that message that you know um, we're playing the team that's on the bottom of the table and we'll let, we'll rest our Origin players. Um, so hopefully we'll give them a rest at some stage. But I didn't think this was the right game for it. And they were, you know, to their credit, and they always are. They're always willing to. You know, back up after Origin, and you know, as you said today, they'll feel the better players on Wednesday night, and they'll feel the better players today. Cameron, are you open to the idea of a rest between now and the semis? Um, <clears throat> I think that's an ongoing discussion um, <laughs> from my end. <laughs> Might be a little bit different um, from this guy, and obviously the performance staff down in Melbourne. But um, oh, look, yeah, we we haven't really sort of gone down that path in the past, um, but we've. We've really given ourselves a, or put ourselves in a, in a good position through this origin period. You know, last year, I think we won one game and lost six. Uh, this 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 period, we've won six and lost one. So, um, yeah, that gives us, a, I guess, a, an opportunity to, to go down that path if we choose to. But um, from my point of view, I think if I'm feeling good and we want to keep some momentum throughout this season, then um, I'll be putting my hand up to play. But if he says no, then. <laughs> Take that on board. Hey, you said you guys didn't rest on you think back to welcome a couple of guys back. How do you think Cameron Munster went and uh, went with Chambers? Yeah, obviously they uh, they both probably done it a little bit tough, especially Will that's been on the course how many weeks he's had out, but he's had a whole heap of time out. So I think um, his uh, his lungs were burning at the end of it. You know, <laughs> I thought um, he had a couple of good touches too, but again, you know, Will's really um, he's our man, yeah. One of our strikes, you know, when we've got a bit of ball, but we didn't have much today. So he had to do a lot more defence than we'd hoped. You know, I thought uh, you know, Munster was really good. He hasn't had as long out, obviously, but um, again, he's had a lot more time out than we'd hoped. And um, yeah, so I thought there was a couple of little rusty parts for him there today, too, but I thought, um, you know, he'd done a really good job as well, especially on some of the high balls. You know, Mullen was throwing them right up in the clouds there, and uh, they weren't easy to take, but you know, he'd done a good job. Cameron, with that possession, I think it ended up around 60% for Newcastle. At the end of the game? Um, oh, I don't know if it was the end. It was running 60 yeah. 40 at one stage. But, uh, so they had a lot of ball. Yeah. So uh, were you confident when you were doing that much defence, particularly on your own try line, that you, you could 
hold them out? Or you, you always feel comfortable the way you're defending? Yeah, well, that's... Um, we base our game on, on defence. It's not, not on attack and what we do with the football. It's about um, you know, keeping opposition sides to minimum scoreline. And um, I think we'll camp down our own end pretty much that first half. I think that's when it was at 64% mm. possession. Um, you know, and we just kept turning them away. And you know, they were able to get sort of one there. But um, we've done that pretty much the majority of the season this year. Um, been able to do that against all the opposition we played against. So at, at no stage did we ever, you know, sort of panic or get flustered or think that um, the other team's going to overrun us. Mm. You know, we just back our our defensive structure and sort of trust each other to get the job done. So on the Marik Korobiti intercept mm. in the first half, that was the first points of the game. Mm. Um, what was your read on it? Had Lee scores, but if he doesn't take the intercept, did, did you think you could shut Newcastle down or were they going to score? How did, did you get a look at that? No, I, I just, I seen the boys make a decision to come in and Chase Blair's been doing a wonderful job out on our edge, you know, every game that he's played for us this year. He's, um, he's been a great, uh, great find for us out there. Um, he's playing con really consistent football for us. Um, and yeah, Marika's always on the spot for those, for those balls that are, um, Sort of dropped or on the on the ground. Um, I sort of backed them to make that decision, and they made an error on the back of our defensive, our good read. You know, so that's why they practice out there plenty with with our backs coaches and our defensive coaches. So I was really happy with that result because we were under the pump at the time. Uh, you're not quite sure, obviously. Um, you know, you played on, so you'd like to think that it's not too bad. But um, you know, get me. Yeah, he's pretty tough in it, but um, you know, it got a little bit too much for him. So, um, you know, until they have a good look at it tomorrow, it cools down. But we'd like to think because he played on for another 10 minutes, so you know, it's not too bad. Cameron, you didn't like the bunker call cool on the first Nemo try. Can you just talk mm. to that? Yeah, well, I, yeah, well, I said that Cooper made a bad defensive read, but I think we've been told that those sweep runners out the back can't receive a ball inside. They can't receive the ball inside those, those punch runners or block runners. Um, and I thought that was the case today, uh, so yeah, I was just a little bit confused. If 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 the guy out the back that received the ball um, isn't there, then Cooper Cooper makes a good defensive read. You know, and that's the whole reason why I think you're not allowed to receive the ball inside because you're hidden. You can't see. Like Cooper can't see that guy there. Um, so he makes his decision to get to, to tackle that guy, and then the other bloke. Yeah. Anyway, so oh, yeah, I was a bit confused, but. End of the day, it's the bunker's decision, and um, yeah, it went, went that way. Well, it was in the case of Memo taking the fact that he didn't run on the outside of the block runner, he took the inside. Now, whether, yeah, yeah. Well, whether that, whether we would have stopped it anyway, but you know, there's been some tries early in the year. But if you catch the ball on the inside of your lead runner, it's no try. It, it's no try. And again, not, um, you know, he actually like the lead runner. He, he sort of didn't come on a out to in line, he sort of went out, but at the same time, he's maybe they still caught it inside him. Now, I know whether Kevin Proctor had something to do with that. I think he, you know, he went in to make the tackle, and the ball might have come out from Hodgkin. So I'm not quite sure there. But if that ball's a clean ball, I can't see why they could award that try after um, what's happened early in the, in the season. And I know we got one disallowed over against the Warriors, and there's, there's a few others. Now, if that interpretation's been changed, we'd like to hear about it. And and, you know, and whether it's the right rule or not, that's you know that's not in question. You know, at the end of the day, it was the rule to start the year, and I haven't. No one's told us it's changed, and so unless there was something that happened in between Hodgson giving the ball to Momo, he he, he caught inside a runner that was in front of him. So well, I think the re reason he gave us that was because he caught it. Not only did he catch it inside him, he didn't run on the outside of him to score. He, he stayed on that line inside. Yeah well, yeah, well, that's 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 the reason why you're not allowed to catch it inside. Because if you do that, you've got a choice to where you can run. Then you can keep running outside, or you can so you, you can run inside. You know what I mean? If we're that's going, what you're not allowed to. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to make interpretations of you know what happens to the runner where he runs and you know the guy who hits a ball, but you know we were told that if you catch a ball inside a lead runner, so for me a lead runner is a bloke in front of him, it's no try. So again, if if and whether that's a good rule or not, you know, it's obviously that's. That's up for 
Um, you know, people to argue, I suppose, but having said that, I don't think they've changed their interpretation, so I can't see why that was the day. But having said that, you know, um, you know, they certainly deserved to try at that time. You know, they had about four sets in a row on us, so, um, so we defended it pretty good. But like I say, we just need to, to know what their interpretation is, you know. If it has changed, well, just tell us, you know, because, you know, whether it's right or wrong, but that was it. You, know. you chased that up? With the league, you've won the game. Is that one of those ones that just gets lost in the, well, the no, wash because you've won no. and we'll just move no. on? Or are you going to get an oh, explanation? Oh, 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 I'll ask, yeah. And again, hopefully, you know, we can get a, um, an explanation that uh, satisfies everyone. You know? So, like I say, whether there was something between the ball going from Hodgkinson to, to Maymo, uh, you know, Kevin Proctor was in. So, whether if he got a touch to it, I don't know whether that, that changes things. Like, if, if that happened, I don't know. But other than that, I can't see how you could award that. But like I say, that's not. And the Gulf of Knights or whatever, but that's but that's what we were told at the start of the season. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs>